blink of an eye, Hairspray Live has come and gone, but not before giving us a bunch of memorable moments on live TV. It's safe to say that Hairspray Live did the dang thing, and if you missed it, don't worry your pretty little face, because we got you covered right now. From the vibrant set to the incredible dance numbers, Hairspray Live should be enjoyed as a whole, but if you can't spare a couple of hours to check out the entire show, we've got a list of moments from the show that you absolutely must see. Kicking off our list is the one and only Dove Cameron. Now, she may have not been as well known as some of her other more famous cast members on the show, but Girl managed to steal the show from Ariana Grande and she made it look so easy. I mean, it's Ariana freaking Grande. Stealing the spotlight from her is just a hard task in general. And speaking of stealing spotlights, the actress who played Little Inez did just that when it was her time to shine during the run and tell that number. Seriously, did you hear how powerful her vocals were? And then there was Derek Huff, who basically killed it as Horny Collins. It's like that role was written with him in mind. Just take a look. I'm sure all those years of dancing came in handy for this moment in particular. To no one's surprise, Jennifer Hudson killed it and her performances on the show were stellar. But everyone just could not stop talking about her monologue about love. Only a fool turns their back on the gift of love. And this world is filled with a mess of fools. So you two better brace yourselves for a whole lot of ugly coming at you from a never-ending parade of stupid. Beautifully said, Jennifer. Beautifully said. And of course, how could we not mention some of the greatest cameos during the show, like an appearance from the original Tracy Turnblads of screen and stage, aka Ricky Lake and Marissa Jarrett Winokur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Rosie O'Donnell's cameo on the show wasn't too shabby either. As a self-proclaimed lover of Broadway and the Hairspray musical, Ariana had a lot of pressure on her to be the best Penny she could be, and the singer did not disappoint. Her best moment would probably have to be her duet with Seaweed in Without Love. And while she was perfect as adorable little Penny, we couldn't help but wonder if she accidentally tripped during I Can Hear the Bells or if she meant to do that. I guess the world will never know. Like Ariana, Jennifer, and the rest of her cast members, Kristen Chenoweth proved to be the perfect choice for Velma Von Tussel. Not a chance, so I hit the stage with tons of plays. And Dove's on-screen mother, after all, Kristen and Dove have played the mother-daughter role before, so it only makes sense for them to do the same in Hairspray Live. Both of Tracy and Link's smooches made it into our list of must-see moments, mainly because they were both so amazing. Maddie and Garrett sure know how to make our hearts swoon. And you didn't think we put together this list without including the epic final number, You Can't Stop the Beat, right? I mean, it's only one of the most iconic numbers from the show, so you know it was done perfectly. As the show ended and the cast all came out to do their vows, Jennifer and Ariana treated the audience to an incredible duet of Come So Far, Got So Far To Go. And it was simply beautiful. Oh, 
What a way to end an amazing show. So tell me what was some of your favorite moments from the show? Let me know in the comments section below. And when you're done with that, click right over here to relive some of your favorite 90 sitcoms ever on Throwback. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for hanging out with me right here on Clever News. I'm your girl, Jackie Idanisi, and I'll see you guys next time.